Hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I know this is a crazy time for a lot of people. Planning for the holiday, going to holiday parties, shopping, cooking. So it's nice to have you take a few minutes out of your busy schedule to be with me tonight. Tonight, I would really like to talk about what happens after the holiday. The holiday season signifies love and peace and hope. We are instructed to be kind to each other as the season is the season of love. And so people smile more and they say hello and they're kinder and perhaps they let more things roll. They put things in the past. Soon another year will be gone and we'll be moving on to a future. And the holidays, although they may have stress surrounding them, are filled with family gatherings and friendships and love. But what happens after it's all over? What happens? Christmas ends, Hanukkah ends, the New Year's is over. Does the laughter end? Does the love end? Does the smiling and the kindness end? It doesn't have to. Christmas and the feeling of Christmas and this entire holiday season should take us through the entire year. If we can be kind and compassionate and giving and volunteering for one month of the year because it is the holiday season, then wouldn't it be wonderful if we did it the whole year through? It would not only raise our vibration and the vibration of the planet, but it would help us to heal inside and find that eternal peace as we touch people and they touch us. Tonight, I would like to do a meditation with you that will help us to manifest Christmas every day of the year. So I hope that you are sitting somewhere comfortable and you can relax and get in a good position to just do this little meditation with me tonight. So please close your eyes and take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, recognize that you're bringing in all that is good, all that is right, all that is perfect in the universe, into your heart, into your soul, into your physical being. And exhale all that stress that you have inside of you, whether it's built up stress, whether it's self-imposed stress, let it all go, breathe it out. And as you breathe out this stress, feel your body relaxing as you breathe in all that is right, all that is good, the love of God and the peace of heaven into your very being. And I'd like you to imagine sitting at a table with your family, whether it's your immediate family or your extended family, and laughing and smiling and telling stories of days gone by, of talking about your dreams for the future, and just being with each other and feeling the commonality among everyone sitting there. You may imagine a fire burning in the fireplace or a Christmas tree lit with colorful lights and the warmth of the season. And you look out the window and you see snow falling and it's wonderful and it's perfect and you're happy. And I'd like you to imagine you now stand in the springtime and you're walking and you're smiling 
and you feel good and that feeling of love that you felt as you were sitting at that holiday table. Fill your body and you meet someone as you're walking and you yell out, happy day, merry Monday. And you feel good because you're still spreading that love of the holiday season. And I'd like you to imagine you're standing on a beach and the sun is warm. It caresses your head and neck and hugs you with its golden rays. And you're smiling. And a woman approaches you with a baby in her arms. And you look at her and you look at that baby. And you embrace them. And you take a shell from that sandy beach and you give it to her as a present. And you tell her to remember you by the shell as it will give her hope as she moves into the future. And you see yourself now in autumn with the beautiful orange and green leaves filling everything in front of you, falling from trees, falling to the ground, and you smell that sweet smell of autumn and it's crisp out and you feel good. And you look up to the heavens and you say, thank you, thank you for this day. Thank you for the love that you bestow upon me and my family and my friends. Thank you for the hope for a beautiful tomorrow. Now you move further up and it's winter and you're outside among the snowflakes and you hear music coming from the house, holiday music filling the air. And you realize, although you're excited about the holiday, this is no different. The feeling of love and peace and how you give and receive, no different than the autumn, than the summer, or the spring. And your soul leaps for joy, leaps for joy that you carry that love within you every day of the year. And you see yourself smiling, knowing that the peace is within, the love is within, and the hope is within. And that is my Christmas wish for each one of you, to make Christmas every day of the year, to make the love and the peace and the happiness a part of your everyday life. May open up your eyes. And if you have any questions you'd like to ask me tonight, I would be more than happy to answer them. So I will now look to see if anyone's typing. Wow, so Beth Tanacredi just said that in Dallas, my book is sold out at Barnes and Noble. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. You know, my goal is to get this book into everybody's hands because it's not my goal, it's her goal. She wants everybody to hear the messages, again, regardless of religion or anything else. She brings through, truly, this holiday season into our everyday lives without ever mentioning the holiday season. So I'm so happy that they're sold out. I hope they get more. So thank you for sharing that. Oh, Jasmine, you should have more quiet moments. You should have moments when you go down to your soul. Meditation is really important. It takes you out of your, your conscious processing mind and really brings you into your soul where you can hear your wisdom, your inner wisdom, your soul wisdom. You can feel the peace and the love that you give to you because what you give to you is really important. 
as well as feeling the love and the peace of heaven coming right into you. Okay, I'm just looking to see if there's anything anyone's saying here. Thank you, Barb. Same to you. Thank you, Andrea. Yes, the holidays are difficult, especially when we're missing our loved ones. Understand this, our loved ones are never that far from us. Celebrate the holidays and know that they're with you every step of the way. They're no longer in pain, they're no longer suffering. They're in a place that's hard for us to conceptualize because it is peaceful and full of love. So, so just know that, you know, Sue, know that your husband is with you and he wants you to be happy. He wants you to celebrate. He wants you to smile because he loves you. He still loves you. He's still carrying that to you and sending the love to you. Beth, that's amazing. I'm so happy. So you drove 30 miles to buy the last two in the next town, and this is Texas? Wow, I'm loving that. I'm so loving that. Please tell them to, to fill their shelves again to get more. But thank you, Patty. I'm glad you're enjoying the book. Wishing all of you a happy, happy, happy holiday. And again, a holiday of peace and love. You know, you all wind up on this Facebook page when I, whenever I do these, these live um, videos because you need to be here for whatever reason. I don't need to know, but you know. It's not random. Just like when I show up and I'm doing readings or if I'm doing a book signing and a talk, the people that wind up there are the people that need to be there. And what comes from me is not from Anna, it's from heaven. I'm the vehicle, I'm the mouth that they talk th through. I don't have scripts for my meditations. I just, I hear what they're saying to me and I say it. So recognize, let, let them touch you through me and recognize that for whatever reason, you're with me tonight. And I'm so happy you are, so happy you are. Yes, Amazon has the books as well. Um, so if the bookstores don't have the book, you can get them at Amazon. I hope that the stress of the holidays isn't affecting you. It's been a long time since I've been stressed at the holidays. Somewhere along the line, I learned, what is there to be stressed about? You know, if I don't buy someone the perfect present. It felt good to me to give them what I gave them because it is perfect, because it came from my heart. I've learned how to receive, and I love to give presents. Love to give, I, I overdo it every year, because I like to see people smile. You know, whether it's people coming into my office, or my children, or my friends, it doesn't matter. To me, it's all about sharing that love. To me, it's important that people know I care about them. And I'm able to receive as well. I can receive the love back. I don't block it. And you shouldn't block it either. And you shouldn't be stressed. If the turkey's not perfect, it's not perfect. If you're worried about Aunt Jane arguing with Uncle Ned, you know, they argue, they argue. It's part of who they are. And you have to let that go too. You have to find your peace within whatever is happening around you. Go out, look up at the stars on a clear night and feel heaven around you in every way. Move into that space, that space that is pure love. It's a wonderful place to be. And again, not just at Christmas, but every day. Let it move your heart 
Let it make a jump. And recognize that Christmas comes so that we can have hope for a better tomorrow, a tomorrow filled with love and peace, inner and globally. Let it move through you and then share it with the world. Okay, let's see. Yeah, you know, I know a lot of you are hurting because you're missing your children, your parents, your spouses. It's really hard, really hard. My father died in the beginning of December. And I remember, you know, wondering what Christmas was going to be like without every member of the family there. But then I felt him. We all felt him. And we continue to. It doesn't mean you don't miss them. Of course you miss them. You can't touch them. You can't see them. But feel them. Really feel them. They send big messages at Christmas. Big messages. Be awakened to them. Do the things they liked. Sing the songs they sang. They're with you. They really are, I promise you. They're not going anywhere. They wouldn't miss a smile on your face for anything, especially during a season that is so filled with love. Happy holidays to all of you. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy New Year. I hope to be back next week right before New Year's Eve to do another Facebook Live. I hope you'll join me. I hope you spread the word that people can show up for these Facebook Lives. It'd be wonderful. And if you're not on my newsletter, please go to AnnaRaymondi.com. I've been sending out a lot of inspirational things um, on a weekly basis now. I'm trying to really do that, trying to, you know, get my head around that because I really do want to share that with all of you because there's so many people that are hurting. And so I'm happy to share with you, your friends, your family, whoever it is. So enjoy the holiday and I will see you hopefully next week. Smile through it all. God bless.